Hey, real quick, I want to shout out uh, Jay Hardcore. Okay. Uh, he has a uh, boxing channel, Hardcore Boxing News. It's on YouTube. I did an interview with him two or three days ago now, give or take, two or three days ago. And um, he asked he asked me an interesting question. I would love for you guys to take a look at that. Uh, excuse me, take a look at that interview, and also just um, uh, follow him, subscribe to him. He's he's a he's a he's a good guy, and uh, hopefully you, you guys enjoy his content, especially the content that that I just did with him. Um, but wanted to shout him out. But the reason why what made me think about him was I told a story about Terrence Crawford. I, I'm actually I'm going to tell this story now, and then we'll move forward. Um, I said. I said, there's a lot of people, I don't remember exactly how I phrased it on the show, and I don't want to say it wrong, and then you guys look at it and say, hey, what he said? But essentially, what led me into a story with Terrence Crawford was the fact that I feel he's misunderstood by the sport, by the, by the, by this boxing community. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you guys knew who he was, you guys would have so much respect for him. I Good said, dude, my respect on, for fighters is on a different level. I said, I get to know these fighters, and I get to understand who they are, where they come from. And what makes them who they are, both in and out of the ring, and that's why I respect a lot of the guy. I didn't say all of that, um, but I said, you know, I did say that I respect. It. Like I said, you would think that the way my fight ended with Terrence, that I would have animosity towards him, or that I would dislike mm -hmm. him. I said, I know who he is, and so beyond what we did in the ring, I got nothing but respect for this man. So my dad is notorious for the story that he told about Terrence Crawford and them meeting in the in the in the, mm -hmm. in the dark alley. And things of that nature. And I told the story. Um, I want to tell it here just in case you guys don't see it, but because there's a point. Um, he has a, uh Terrence has his altercation in the in the in the gym. You guys have probably seen us talk about that. I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs, but my dad was basically my dad was the muscle on these on these Olympic teams, on these world teams and stuff like that. So my dad was always that he was the young, strong guy. He was always coined with disciplining us when we needed to be disciplined and, and 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 yoking up who needed to be yoked up and handling so this goes on so when the situation happens with Terrence who are they looking at to handle this situation with Terrence but my dad my dad's looking at Terrence like yo you you gotta you gotta get out of here you gotta you got to go and Terrence is looking at my dad and basically just walks off and I as I'm telling this story I realize I said my dad started chasing after Terrence Crawford. And I want to use this as a motivation too. But my dad started chasing Terrence Crawford basically because he felt disrespected in the moment. Mm -hmm. Dad, if you don't agree with this, you'll holler at me because if you don't realize it, this is what happened. All right, I'm telling what happened to you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> My dad went after Terrence because my Terrence, my, my, my Terrence basically said, I don't need no help. I'm, I'm fine. And stormed off. My dad looking at like, yo, you don't yell at me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who you think you talking to? Yeah. My dad went chasing after Terrence because he was chasing that respect yeah. that he thought he didn't he didn't get that he should have gotten in yeah. that moment, right? So he going after Terrence. I didn't really see how the whole thing went, how he caught up to Terrence and all that. But what I do know is my dad says, I caught Terrence. I made him turn around. He looked at me, got tears in his eyes. He was puffed up, chest sticking out, fist balled up. And I'm looking at this at this kid like, all right, it's either going to be him or it's going to be me. And my, my dad, like, I know it ain't going to be me. Yeah. And so my dad, like, yeah, I'm going to just let you have this one, little fella. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and turn, turn away. Yeah. I said, in that moment, my dad went chasing respect. But what he didn't realize was he got the respect in that moment. But it wasn't the respect that he was chasing. Mm -hmm. In that moment, when Terrence turned around and was huffing and puffing, looking at my dad, Fury in his eyes, he's teared up and all that. My dad understood at that moment that it don't matter who I am. It don't matter that I feel you should respect me. You don't give a damn about me right now. You're going to do whatever it is you feel you need to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to step back. So he went chasing respect, but he got the respect that he was chasing, then realized that he was going to get respect for Terrence. Mm -hmm. That respect that my dad got for Terrence in that moment has never left. Why does he tell that story so many times? Because he got respect for Terrence in that moment. Yeah. Because Terrence was always the hothead. Terrence was always the one in trouble and always the one that was the outcast and the list goes on, so on and so forth. So my dad was always looking at him like, all right, give me a reason to yoke you up. So in that moment, my dad went chasing respect and found it. But it wasn't the respect he thought he was going to get. And I, this might be the hour of giving him their flowers. But obviously after that fight, 
your fight with him, I was like, well, fuck this dude. <laughs> you know, you, and so you saying we hanging out with him yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, all yeah. right, you know, I'm yeah. gonna be cordial. And, and don't get it twisted, man. Like we've in the moment, I remember like he came to the corner and he was like, yo, yo, yo. I was like, yo, give me a minute, like get away from me. That same fire yeah. that I had way back when I fought Keith. You know what I mean? Yeah. That same fire was there in the moment. And we've hung out since then. We talked since then. I'm like, yo, we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. said, like, yo, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, you know what I mean? So it's certain, certain, you know, certain moments, like, yeah, I do get a little. Look, it's you know what I mean. Yeah, and then after things, like you know? I think hanging out with him for a couple hours, I'm like, man, this is just a good dude, man. Yeah, yeah. He, at the end of the day, he's talented as hell. Yeah, and can fight his ass off. But at the end of the day, he's a good dude. He'll help you if you need it. Do he'll motivate you. Here he gonna inspire you to get yeah. more. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, it ain't enough to Terrence Crawford. And this is what I want to do right now in this moment because I know a lot of people think that I give Terrence all the love, and it looks like me and Terrence give him his flowers. are the best of friends, and yeah. so on and so forth. I respect a majority of the fighters out there the same way that I respect Terrence Crawford. If you think that there's a fighter you want to hear a story about that I haven't told or anything like that, shout that out in the comments. And if I have a story about them, I will tell that story. I got stories about me and De De Deontay Wilder. I got stories about me and Rashid Warren. Mm -hmm. I got stories about me and a lot of the old school fighters. Uh, all of them. You know what I mean? Well, not old school, but a lot of the fighters that were in that 08 team uh, right around there, so on and so forth, you know? I got no animosity towards a lot of the majority of the fighters. And don't get it twisted that I don't like Errol Spence because I don't tell stories. Yeah. I don't have the, any stories. The, 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 word, the word about you and Errol Spence, you're a hater. I don't, yeah, I don't have any stories about Errol Spence. He's yeah. a few years younger than me. I heard about him when he was coming up. Don't come off as a hater right now. I heard about him when he was <laughs> when he hit the when he hit the pros. I knew about him when 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 I understood that it was gonna be time for us eventually. We just don't have any stories. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Hey, what? Uh, when's the first time you seen Town uh, Terrence in the ring? As a kid, obviously. As a kid, and you was like, "Damn." Uh, yeah. Are uh, you as a kid? You're like, "Yeah, he cool." No, 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 no. Yo, as a kid, you was like, "Damn." We, we, I was always bigger than him, and I just oh, he was just yeah. lights out fast. Oh, you, and so, oh. And so oh he was all about quickness back then. Yeah, just all about quickness. You gotta change then. that up a little bit. Now. He still got bit. it. I mean, he's, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but we was hanging out and come to find out. The way I was looking at him when we were 10, 11 years old was the same way he was looking at other fighters. You know what I mean? Like, it goes around the whole the whole boxing uh, circuit. You know what I mean? We know who the who's are, and we know who oh, we're going to see.